Hello, everybody. I'm Nicholas Tatum, author of the Jesus Freak book series. You can look for it on Amazon and several other ebook formats. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about eliminating that dreaded 8801330D error code you get when you're trying to use your remote play. First, let's pull up the PlayStation app. You can see that I'm on my 5G network. So yes, tell it it can use mobile data. And I'm on my 5G because if I hook up to my actual Wi-Fi in the side, the same house where the PS5 is, it will go through without a problem because it's on Wi-Fi. But what's the point of remote play? So that you can be elsewhere, away from the house, away from your system, in order to actually be able to play on your PlayStation. And when you do it, sometimes you wait for these three dots and you wait and you wait and this video is in real time so all the waiting times are just about real everything you see i'm going to take you step by step so you can see how to get rid of it within for oh my gosh there it is 8801330d <sighs> it hurt me so bad i kept looking things up and i couldn't figure out how to get this fixed and then with my x5 system it made it even more difficult for me because I didn't know how to change the settings. But then I started tinkering around. I went to my Xfinity app and this is how you do it. After you open an Xfinity app, you'll come to this screen. You'll see right there under the Xfinity, it says view network details. Click on it and then it'll bring you to this page. Down at the bottom, you see advanced settings right there. So let's click on that. In advanced settings, you see something called port forwarding, and that's what our main problem is. Click on that port forwarding, and as you can see, I have my reserved IP address uh, blanked out, but you see where it says add port forward? That's what we want to do. So then we need to select one. It's right at the top. Let's go ahead and select one. You'll get to see some of my devices. These are my devices. I want to focus on the PlayStation 5, so I click on it. Now, you see it says port number and it has one, then TDCP. Da, da, da. I'm going to click where it says port number because you have to have specific numbers for the ports. The first number that you want to use for the PlayStation 5 is going to be 9296. And then you'll click on that and then you'll do the UDP. And then I'll need to add another port because you have to do four of these. All right. So now we go to where the one is. Let me scroll up. There we go. Click on that one. And this next one is going to be. Oh, I left the one in the first one. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and correct that. OK, so this one is nine, two, nine, seven. I'm going to click and make it a UDP. Now I'm going to go back up here and try and get rid of that one real quick because it's supposed to be nine, two, nine, six. There you go. Got rid of that. OK, I'm going to scroll down. I need to add another port now because, like I said, it's four of these ports and you need to remember these exact numbers. OK, let's get rid of the one. And this one in particular is going to be nine, three, zero, three. And then I do the UDP. OK, then I scroll up one more time. Let's add one last port. This is the only three digit port amongst the whole group. So I go to where the one is. Of course, I get rid of the one. And then this one's going to be nine, eight, seven. And then we're going to do the UDP one more time. So now that it's got the UDP, we're done. All we need to do now is test it out. Let's uh, look and see, make sure we got our numbers. Yeah, 9296, 9297, 9303, and 987. With that being done, we click on Next. Then we allow Xfinity to add the port forwarding for us so that we can get all set up. And once it tells us we're set up, we're going to go back to our PlayStation. There we go. We have port forwarding going on for it. Uh, so let's get out of this app and go back to our still open PS Remote Play app. All right. So we're going to have a little bit of a wait time. We click on that. You know, we're going to have to wait for those three. Oh, yeah. Mobile data. Click on that. As you can see, I didn't change because I don't want to want it to be a fake video. I want you to be able to see that this is how it works. And it's just that simple. I tried a little bit earlier before port forwarding. We got nothing. No good answers whatsoever. And now I'm trying it after we just went to the Xfinity app and did the port forwarding. And now let's see what we get. We wait on the three dots. We wait on the three dots. We wait more on the three dots. Uh oh, that's a good sign. It says linking to your PS5. Linking to your PS5 is a good sign. Oh, checking the network is a really good sign. We didn't get all that stuff before. So now that we're getting that, that tells us we're probably going to make it in. It's not always guaranteed, but more than likely we will. Uh, so here we go. Bam! We are in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my PS5 screen. And we made it. So that's how you get rid of that 8801330D code. I hope I helped you out. You have a great day. And I hope this uh, really goes well for you. Goodbye, all.